It's 2018 and driverless cars and smarter smart homes are here to stay. And that is all thanks to this year's launch of the uber-fast 5G network. And man, are we ready for it. Look, to start, driverless cars need 5G so they can interact with other cars to improve safety and manage traffic. And your super smart home needs 5G too, so all those appliances and devices can talk to each other faster. And then you can turn your car on from your phone while you adjust the heat and turn off the lights on the way out the door. And of course your phone needs 5G. Then virtual and augmented reality will become the norm for all those movie downloads and those really fabulous pictures of the grandkids. And speaking of your phone, we have to take a step back. Let's talk about how it all started. Okay, so the G stands for generation. And back in the 90s, 1G was developed, which allowed you to make wireless cellular phone calls. That expanded to 2G, which let you send text messages between two cellular devices. We hit 3G and we were able to make calls, send text, and browse the internet. And with 4G and LTE, you could do all that plus download and upload large video files without any issues. Enter 5G now and all that is going to be way faster because it will allow huge amounts of data to be transmitted and billions of devices can be connected all in one click. What 5G can hold for us is connecting billions of things and having that agility and scalability within the architecture to not just be you know, one thing here or there, but really billions of devices connecting to a 5G network. Super cool. So what companies benefit? Well, Kramer says Broadcom, which is in his charitable trust. And then watch companies like Intel, Qualcomm, Nokia, Samsung, and of course the carriers like Verizon, AT&T, and T-Mobile. And for more on all this and the 5G network, you gotta check out thestreet.com.